Same dish, different recipes. From the most iconic to the most controversial, we're gonna try it. Today, we're creating a famous recipe of a dish so simple you can make it with as few as four ingredients, the omelet. By the end of this video, we will learn how the same ingredients can result in a very different dish and eating experience by changing the cooking technique. As a breakfast dish, these omelet recipes will be judged based not only on flavor and visual appeal, but also on how practical they are if you were to make them before starting your day. Our first recipe is from Julia Child, a pioneer chef and TV personality who revolutionized cooking in the United States by simplifying French cuisine in her cookbook Mastering the Art of French Cooking in 1961. Her omelette recipe, very in character, prioritizes a delicate texture and highlights the flavor of each ingredient. Julia Child starts by beating eggs in a bowl. She seasons this with salt and black pepper, and here's her unique twist. Splash in a bit of water. This will make the omelette lighter and softer. In a pan, we add some butter, and once melted, no need to brown, pour in the egg. Julia Child doesn't use a spatula. Instead, she swirls the eggs around the pan until the eggs are almost cooked. Then she tosses the egg so it folds in itself. Immediately, slide this down a plate. Give it a smear of more butter and garnish with parsley or more salt. The color is very consistent. Sa exterior and yung middle o yung interior. Mm. It's super fluffy. It's super light. It's very rich. It's super simple. It's very delicate. Very yummy. Our second omelette recipe has 18 million views on YouTube. Tasty is a digital media brand known for their easy-to-follow instructional cooking videos and creative take on food. Tasty separates the egg yolk from the egg whites. The yolk are beaten by hand until they're creamy and the colors become a little lighter. The whites are beaten by hand or an electric mixer to stiff peaks. It is then folded with the yolks and poured into a non-stick pan with some butter. Cook this over low heat, then loosen its sides to slide in more butter. Sprinkle with salt and pepper before covering to cook for 5 minutes. Slide this into a plate and once half of the omelette is on the plate, fold the other half like so. Garnish with green onions or chives. Now, time to taste. Let's see. Fluffiness meter. Kasalanan ko ata na na-overcook ko siya. Wish it could have been fluffier kasi mas fluffy yung itsura ng egg nila. I think this recipe hits closer to home in a way because you have that exterior crust na medyo natutong or medyo toasted. Since the butter in this recipe was cooked, unlike Julia Child's na ipinahid lang afterwards, mas nanonood siya, mas more on the nutty side, toasted side. But admittedly, I feel like I missed something in the recipe because what they showed in the video looks much more better than this. But if I did everything right, at kung kanto talaga siya, I don't think the added resources like time, gas, also the effort to do this, just to have something similar to what you usually would, it's something I can let go. Our last recipe is very interesting. It is from none other than Joshua Wiseman, a top YouTuber in the cooking niche who's not afraid to incorporate his professional cooking experience in traditional recipes. This recipe calls for truffles and gruyere, which is a hard type of Swiss cheese. You can keep your whisk because this recipe uses four whole eggs. Crack into a pan with some butter. Season this with salt and cover. Sprinkle your grated Gruyere on half of the eggs and fold the other half to cover the Gruyere. Slide this into a plate, add several dashes of hot sauce, and garnish with thinly sliced truffles, green onions, and freshly cracked black pepper. Mmm! That is super different. Sobrang dami nangyayari in terms of flavor, texture, and visuals also. 
Ang dami niyang colors. These are flavors you won't expect from a breakfast omelet. Personally, medyo na-overwhelm ako. So, sabay-sabay silang sumasabak sa'yo kasama yung anghang ng hot sauce. Maybe brunch or lunch, I could have this. If you're a fan of bold flavors in the morning, if you want to impress someone with a simple dish that takes just a few minutes, but with added premium ingredients, I think this is the one for you. You might know omelette as just beaten eggs, salt, pepper, and butter, but these three recipes showed us different interpretations. Julia Child's approach is elegant, quick, simple, and most of all, has clean flavors that would definitely start your day right. Meanwhile, Tasties was fun and fulfilling to cook and gave us a texture adventure like no other. And lastly, Joshua Wiseman took it a step further with more premium ingredients and by taking advantage of that creaminess and a delicious runny yolk. But in the morning, I would prioritize practicality, something homey, familiarly tasty, and straightforward, which is why Julia Child's omelette is my favorite. So, how about you? How do you like your omelette? Leave them in the comments and feel free to suggest any recipes you'd like for us to try in the next video.